All right, good afternoon, everybody. What's today's topic? Well, today I was out in the garage and I realized that the welding filtration mask that I have is not actually the best, but it was better than nothing. And it worked fine for a while, and now it's kind of the plastic and the bands on it are shot. So I threw it out. I wasn't doing any welding for a while, and I ordered a new one. So what did I order? Well, I ordered and what shipped today is a, one of the best ones review-wise. We'll go over questions and answers, of course, in a bit. But I got this right here. Oh, it's not coming through real good. I'll put up a picture. It's made by Miller. Let me throw up some pictures that are a lot better than me showing it to you uh, on this cam. And then we'll go from there. And I did buy it off of Amazon Ship Prime. So let me throw it up, I'll show you a picture, and then we'll go over some questions and answers. One moment. Okay, here's a better shot. I took it right off of Amazon. This is the mask that I bought. It's actually the Miller, the model number is LPR-100. And that's what this particular one is, and you can get replacement cartridges, of course. But this is a good vapor mask. It's gotten plenty of outstanding reviews. You need something like that. You don't wanna just be out there welding without some kind of a vapor mask on under your shield. So my suggestion is you consider this if you're going to buy one or if you need one. And so we'll jump right over to the questions and answers now and I'll see if I can help you out. Okay, the first question is how well does it fit under your shield or your, your mask? Um, for me, it fits good. Uh, if you have a lot of facial hair, stuff like that, I don't know, it's really meant to be you know attached directly to your skin to get a nice firm seal. But it fits under mine fine. Now, there's a lot of comments from a lot of people, you know, in the reviews that say under their shields, it does not fit that well. Under mine, it does, this particular one. The only thing that I found to be a pain, uh, well, okay, the thing that I found to be a pain, I guess, if I had to give it like a critique somewhere, I don't like the head straps particularly. They do work. They work well. It takes you a little bit of playing around to get it adjusted to where, you know, it fits you and it creates that great seal. Um, I don't know how long these straps will last. I've used this a handful of times and I like it. I really do. But I wish that design would have been better, but it is what it is. That's the way it is. Now, the other thing, you know, that I read about is this thing will filter out 99.97% of any airborne particles or particulate. And so that's what you want. You want something real good so you don't get a bunch of black soot up your nose. So my last one, it worked good, but I noticed once in a while, I mean, I don't know if it was the seal or what it was, you know, it, I would get some of that. Okay, so this one, I've gotten zero, nothing. It works perfectly fine. Now, what about, what about the filters? Um, okay, to answer your question, the filters, they're easily replaceable. You just snap off the front, put in new filters, I can't tell you when you need to change it. It depends on your usage, but they're available in the current price on this particular model for replacement filters is around $8 for the set. So it's not bad. Um, if you wanted to, I mean, when you go, if you decide to order one of these, go ahead and order some replacement filters at the same time for the $8 and then just leave them in your toolbox and you got it right there. Now, what do I like? I like that it's compact, okay, and I like the exhaust valve in this, to answer your question directly. This has large exhaust valve in it. Now, my other one had okay exhaust valves in it, but if you had it on for any length of time, you almost start to feel anxious, like you're not breathing as comfortably as you should. Now, with this one, I haven't had that problem. It's one of the things that I really, really enjoy about this mask. Once you have it on and you have it sealed against your face, Breathing through this is great. I mean, so that's one of the big thumbs up I give this thing. I would tell you, if you don't have anything like this and you're, you, you're using your welders, it doesn't matter. You should get something to protect what you're breathing. It's a safety issue. I think this is a good purchase. I think it's a good buy. If I find out that there's anything that I don't like about it going forward, I'll leave it in the comments. But for right now, I mean, I'm doing the review on this and I think it's damn well worth buying i mean seriously if you don't have anything and you know it's to protect you it fits comfortably under my shield i okay? have an auto darkening shield um other people have shields that they complain it didn't fit right under it so i don't know i mean that's something you might be taking a little bit of a risk with but for me it's working fine um 
Anyway, I'm the Home Handyman. This is a quick review and your tip of the day. Get yourself a good respirator, okay? And this is a good one. Okay, I hope to see you on the next video. Please click subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.